Often you hear the phrase, what's in it for me? And employers ask that all the time when they're looking at hiring. But you're also thinking, what's in it for me when you think about what work you want to do, what job you can really do well, and how you can succeed in your jobs. So how do you figure out realistically what's in it for me? First, start with that dread research. Too often we rush right in when we in fact need to stop and think a moment about what are my goals? What is it that I really need from that next job? And those needs range not only from the kinds of things that we all think of, a position that is useful to our career goals, maybe more money, maybe less of a commute, but think about those things. What do you need and how does that relate to your longer term goals? Having thought about that, you need to think about and research the organizations where you can succeed. Not all of us are successful in the same type of operations. Once I was looking for a job, as were a number of my good friends, and we discombobulated a poor hiring manager no end when she was walking out of the job interview while I was waiting to walk into it. And the hiring manager was shocked that we were knew each other and that we were clearly cheerful with each other. Well, both of us knew what was successful for place for one of us was not going to be the right place for the other one of us. So that wasn't a problem. But you need to be sure that you're doing the research so that you can, in fact, choose organizations where you have a good chance of success. Obviously, you'll confirm that during the interview process. And then you want to think about who are the top performers in my field that I really want to work with, and where are they, and how do I get to work with them? Having thought about and done your homework, done that research, you need to think about your critical success factors. Make a list. Put them down. Think of what all of them are, everything you want, everything you must have, all the things you'd like to have. And once you've done that, then priority rank them. Put some weighting factors on them. Do whatever you have to create a real decision checklist. The earlier you do that in your job search, the easier it'll be as you go along because it will inform your decisions. It'll help you decide, do I go after this job that I just heard about? If I'm going after this job, what are the critical questions I need to ask so that I'm sure that I know what's in it for me? And also, it will help you to evaluate offers. If you don't do it until the end, you'll skew it to the offer you might have. But if you do it in advance, when you have a job offer or multiple job offers, it helps you to evaluate them more effectively. So, want to answer that question? What's in it for me in your job search? Do your homework. Know what you want. Learn where you can find that. Make sure that you have, in fact, been really specific in terms of what's critical to you to succeed, and then Evaluate your opportunities, the companies or organizations you're interested in, and your job offers against those factors that are critical to your success. And then you'll know what's in it for me.